Hi guys, welcome back to another video here on this channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this in less than 10 minutes. So if you want to create a very nice stack of something, in this case coins, and you want to do this in a random way, the best way to do it is with Mesh. Imagine having to place every single coin of this ones right here manually. That would just drive us like insane, right? And these are very few coins, there's like I think like 200 coins. Imagine doing like a whole vault of coins and then having to place everything manually, it's just ridiculous. So Mesh is an instant ex instant <coughs> instancing system uh, that's a tongue twister right there that you can use to generate some cool dynamics and i'm going to show you how to do it so i'm going to save this in real quick and let me show you how the dynamic system works it's very easy first of all i'm going to go file import and i'm going to import the coins let me know in the comments if you want uh, to if you want me to upload these coins into our uh, asset repository in google drive so that you can try this exercise as well so the first thing we need to do is we need to, of course, set up the materials for this thing. I'm going to be using the Substance plugin over here. So Substance, I'm going to use this Maps to Material. Select multiple maps, and we're going to select Roughness, Normal, and Base Color. So I painted each coin slightly different so that we can see the variation on the table. And if we take a look at this, you are going to see that now we have this material, Standard Surface 2, which should be, or is it Standard Surface 1? Huh, interesting. I'm not sure which one it is. Let's take a look at here uh or maybe we didn't import okay again so over here we're just going to select multiple maps there we go and we're just going to apply perfect so now this should have an ai standard surface there we go and you can see each coin has a slightly different color now there's a couple things we need to do with this material because this material was made for unreal engine the first thing is i'm going to change this names to m underscore coins and then over here, uh, the bump to D on the attribute editor, we're going to flip the green channel so that the normal map looks uh, correct. On the this one right here, the roughness occlusion metallic, the roughness is going to go into the input of this multiply divide on all three elements so that we multiply the ambient occlusion against the color and we get a little bit more contrast. The green is going to be to specular uh, glossiness. Oh, not that one. Specular roughness, sorry. There we go. And the B is going to be going to metalness. Everything else should be set up properly. And you can see right here that we got our proper effect going on nicely on our stuff. So G or sorry. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, cool. So we got our coins right here. They look a little bit dark. Don't worry. We're going to worry about the, um, the render at the very end. So the first thing we need to do is we actually need to split this coins into individual elements. So if I go to poly modeling, I'm going to go mesh and say separate. And now I'm going to select all of them, center the pivot point, delete history and freeze transformations. And with X, I'm going to snap them all to the center of the grid. Another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to rotate them so that the face is facing forward. Right now, they're all on top of each other, which is perfectly fine. Over here, I'm going to shift a P to separate them from their uh, original parent. We're going to freeze transformations again. We don't need that transformation node. And we're just going to rename this. So this one is going to be called coin A. This one's going to be called coin B. This one's going to be called coin Z. And this one's going to be called coin D. By the way, if you haven't seen the tutorials for the coins, I have a sculpting tutorial and then a texturing tutorial for it. So this is probably going to be the last time we do the coin. Uh, but I, I, I just found a lot of topics to talk about. So <laughs> here we go. Now, we're going to select all of these guys. We're going to go to Mesh. And if you don't have this plugin enabled, you need to go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager. And here, look for Mesh. And just make sure that this is loaded and all the load if you want to have it every time you open Maya. I'm going to create a new network right here. And as you can see, immediately we get this, a duplication of the same coin right here, which is a little bit of a problem. So the first thing I want to do is I want to generate a random like effect from this coin. Everything happens in this thing right here called the mesh editor. And these are like, uh, like pretty much like modifiers that we can stack on top of each other to generate some very cool variation on our instances right here. As you can see, our original coins right now are now hidden. We cannot uh, see them, but they are generating the geometries that we need right here. It's uh, I wouldn't say it's the same thing as geometry nodes, but it works in a similar fashion. So um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go to mesh distribute. I'm going to change this to grid. I'm going to give myself a lot of space. Let's say six by six by six, which should be quite a bit of coins. And then on the distance, I'm going to expand this. You can actually like input another number right here. I'm going to say, let's say 40. Let's say 40 on Y. And let's say 40 on C. 
There we go. So as you can see, we have a grid of a lot of coins. How many coins? I'm not good at math, but you can you can <laughs> you can figure it out and let me know in the comments. So once we have this, one of the issues that I see is that they're all the same coin. Even though we selected four different coins, we're using or we're seeing all the same coins. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a new node on this little plus sign called an ID node. And this ID node, as you can see, is gonna be able to detect that we have four or that we originally selected four elements to create this thing right here. You should also be able to see this elements over here on the mesh repro mesh you can see that we have four objects zero one two and three for each of the coins you can add more stuff in here as well later on if you want to so on the mesh id node the one thing that i want to change to make this a lot more random is change the id type to random so now every single coin from the distribution like effect is going to get a like different id and you can see the four different coins uh ready here on our on our element now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a dynamics node right here. Again, on the little plus sign, I'm just going to add a dynamics node. And what this will do, again, as the name implies, it will work with dynamics. A couple of things that you need to keep in mind. I recommend turning off the cachette playback right here, or cache playback. I always say cachette. <laughs> the cache playback. And you need to start your timeline on frame number one. This is super, super important. Otherwise, dynamics are not going to work. For this dynamics to work, we're actually using a bullet. Bullet is a physics system that comes pre-installed with Maya. You can actually activate bullet in other ways, not only through MASH. And it's really, really good. So right here, with this done, I can literally just hit play and look at this. There we go. All the coins are falling down and they fall on top of each other and they start sliding and generating a very cool thing. So that's it. Like if we just want to get a bunch of coins on top of each other, this is it. We can literally just grab this thing right here, control D to duplicate it and move it to the side and we get a very nice effect. However, let's talk a little bit about the settings that we can change here on our effect. I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning. And uh, since I don't want all of the coins to be falling down on top of each other, very flat, very boring, I'm going to go to the mesh editor and I'm going to add another node, which is going to be a random node. And the random node not only allows me to change the position of the elements randomly so that they like interact in slightly different ways, we can actually also change the rotation. So as you can see right here, we could, for instance, position some of the coins like very, very like vertical so that when they fall, they kind of like bounce a little bit. You could even change the scale. I recommend using uniform scale and some coins might be a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger, depending on what you're uh, doing right here. And once we have that, uh, you can see that we have that little yellow thing. That's the floor, by the way. So on the bullet solver right here, we have the ground plane and it is at minus 20. So we got enough room for the for the coins to fall. If I hit play again, you can see all of the coins fall and now they start bouncing, just like interacting, flipping, like doing other things. The problem is, as you can see, they're just like sliding freely into the into the world. It's pretty much like if they were falling on like an ice uh, ring or something. And uh, I want to change that. So if we again go to the mesh dynamics, one of the things that we can change is this friction. So if we increase the friction of the coins, when we let these coins fall, as you can see, they're not going to be falling and sliding. They're just going to like group up and bundle up together a lot better. And I'm going to hit stop right there. So if I find something that I like, such as this one, again, I can just grab this whole thing, control D, and this is a geometry that I can literally export to a game engine as a single element. For instance, in Unreal Engine, even though it's a lot of polygons, you can just nanite and it's fine. Like you can have as many of these like bundles of coins as you want. And if we want to, we can go all the way back here. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little test here for my computer. Let's go to the mash distribute and let's do 10 by 10 by 10. I'm gonna, of course, increase the distance right here a little bit more. That's a lot of coins, as you can see right there. My computer is struggling a little bit. Oh, my bad. I placed 404, 444 coins right there. It's probably going to be able to recover, and then I'm going to definitely need to bring that back. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of coins. If you have a super powerful computer, go for it and <laughs> try to do 444 coins. That would be that would be really fun to see. So, yeah, this is pretty much it. So once we have this, back to 10, 10, and 10. I believe this should be 1,000 coins. Uh, we can just like play the animation again. Let's just wait for this to go back to a number number and uh, let me show you the result. 
So unfortunately, it, cra it crashed. It didn't have the memory to recover from that one, so we're back to my original scene right here. Unfortunately, on this one, I don't have the mesh uh, dynamic system, so we're not going to be able to increase the amount of coins. But as you can see, we have the exact same thing. So I just did the simulation. I let all of the coins fall into the ground, and with just two simple lights, three simple lights, one right here, a little door like model right here, a rim light, and a HDRI. And we get this a beautiful, beautiful render right here that allows us to showcase this dynamic system. So that's it for this one, my friends. If you liked it, please, please, please leave a like, comment, share. And if there's anything that you want to learn, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make a video about it. If you want to support the channel, we have a premium course available down here in the description of the video. And we have a Discord channel, Facebook and everything where you can follow us, like and interact with the community. Thank you very much for all your support, my friends. And I'll see you back on the next one. Bye bye.